so we are still talking about Kabilo Gwamanda, the former executive mayor of Johannesburg who was arrested recently for allegedly scamming the people of Johannesburg with the funeral policy Ponzi scheme. I mean, guys, if you think about it, chances are when Kabilo Gwamanda was still in the office of the mayor, he was still scamming the people of Johannesburg. The whole executive mayor of the city scamming the innocent citizens of the same city with the funeral policy Ponzi scheme. This is what happened, allegedly. And yesterday we were talking about Hemin Mashaba, the leader of Action SA, and how Hemin Mashaba desperately tried to divert the attention from the ANC and the EFF and make it look like the DA is the one that is responsible for this guy to be the mayor of Johannesburg, not the political parties that actually voted for the same person to be the mayor of Johannesburg. And people are saying that it is quite bizarre to see how Hemin Mashaba has been behaving lately because when we speak about him and Mashaba, we speak about someone who was very critical of the ANC and the EFF. When we speak about him and Mashaba, we speak about someone who has cautioned the South Africans about the politics of the ANC and the EFF. The same man who said, if Action SA decides to work with the ANC, then I am going to step down as the president of Action SA. But today, when you look at Hemin Mashaba, when you listen to the things that Hemin Mashaba say, it's almost as if he has become the spokesperson of the ANC and the EFF. Hemin Mashaba literally tried to make people look away from the fact that the ANC and the EFF delivered Kabil Gomanda to the people of Johannesburg. We know for a fact that ANC, EFF, Al Jama alone, they had majority of the seats to elect Kabil Gomanda to be the mayor of Johannesburg. We know that the ANC, Al Jama, and EFF and other minority political parties actually delivered this person to be the mayor of Johannesburg, not a political party that actually didn't even vote for this person to be the mayor of Johannesburg. But according to Hemin Mashaba, no, it is not the fault of the ANC, but it is it is the fault of the DA. But today, guys, I actually want us to look at something else because this story is insane. I want us to look at how the ANC protected Gabriel Gomanda from the allegations that he is a scam. So when the allegations were actually brought up, the ANC said allegations that Gabriel Gomanda is a scammer are gossip and fear mongering. Allegations that Gabriel Gomanda is a scammer are just gossip and rumor mongering. So the ANC said, okay, this person is fit to be the executive mayor of Johannesburg. This guy is fit to be the executive mayor of Johannesburg. And anyone who says that Kabel Gomanda is a scammer, he is just spewing out gossip, and we are not even going to listen to that. So we know for a fact that the allegations were made initially by the DA's mayor, Dr. Mpopalatze, who alleged that Kabel Gomanda is busy scamming the people with the funeral policy Ponzi scheme. Dr. Pal Dr. Palate, the former mayor of the DA, said this guy, you cannot elect this guy to be the mayor of Johannesburg because he is busy scamming the people down there. And what did the NC say? What did the NC say? At the time, the ANC claimed allegations were baseless and said the party had vetted Guamand. So we know that this statement is a lie. We know for a fact that this statement is a lie because the premier of ANC, Panyaza Sufi, went to ENC yesterday and he said the ANC didn't vet Kabilo Gwamanda, but we will get to that. Quote, as the ANC, we do not want to entertain gossip. Those are just gossip and rumor mongering. So, until somebody comes out and says, I was scammed, we cannot entertain such gossip. News 24 quoted the ANC regional secretary, Sasabona Mangai, as saying at the time. So the ANC regional secretary said that, no, that is a gossip. So anyone who says that Kabil Gomanda is a scammer, it is just gossip. So until someone actually come out to say that I was scammed, we are not even going to listen to that. So the ANC regional secretary went ahead to say, we vetted the mayor. And he met the minimum basic requirements. The vetting is the basic vetting of whether he has a criminal record, if there's any pending criminal case against him, and if he is insolvent. So according to this person, they didn't know 
that the FSCA was actually investigating the same person with financial crimes. This is what they are trying to tell us, that no, we vetted this guy to see that if he has a criminal law court, if there's any case against him or if he's insolvent. But they said, okay, he met the, 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 he met the minimum basic requirements. So this is what the ANC said at the time. This is what the ANC said at the time. So even Panyaza Lusufi, the premier of Houten right now, he says that no, we didn't vet, Panya we didn't vet this guy. But Panyaza Lusufi vowed that the ANC will protect Kabir Goman. He vowed that we are going to protect this guy. So right now, this story is amazing because everybody is trying to make it look like, no, we had nothing to do with Kabir Goman. We absolutely had nothing to, to, to do with this guy. So I actually want us to look at these three paragraphs. It says that Johannesburg is home to 6 million residents. The city is struggling financially and its road infrastructure is collapsing. Rolling blackouts and water cuts that continue for days are now regular occurrences. Listen here. Listen to this part. Lisufi admits the coalition agreement is, is far from perfect but says he will crush any attempt to remove Gwabanda from the top job. So the same Panyaza Sufi who said we didn't vet this guy, he said he will crush any attempt to remove this guy from the top job. So it seems like the ANC was actually quite happy with Panyaza Sufi, with Kabilo Gwabanda being the executive mayor of Johannesburg. Of course, he was their puppet mayor. The mayor was due to face a motion of no confidence brought by Action SA over his failure to publicly address allegations of doji dealings two months into the job. So Panyaza Sufi knew that Action SA wanted this guy to be brought down and he said, no, if you want this person to actually be removed, we are going to crush you. We are going to crush you. So yesterday, Panyaza Sufi went to ENCA and just listen to what he said. He says that, we did not vet this guy. But back then, the ANC regional secretary said, we vetted Guamanda and he met the minimum basic requirements. We vetted him. There was nothing wrong about him. And the same premier who said, we didn't vet this guy, vowed that we are going to crush anyone who wants to remove this guy from the top job. law should work if the allegations against you should be arrested regardless of which position you occupy in society mm. commander is not a member of the nc i've seen many people accusing me i've never voted for commander i've not supported command <laughs> i have not supported command i have not supported command i have not supported command lisufi admits the coalition agreement arrangement is far from perfect but says they will crush any attempts to remove Guamanda from the top job. But now he says, no, 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 no. No, 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 I did not even defend this guy. I did not even defend this guy. Law should work if the allegations against you should be arrested, regardless of which position you occupy in society. Mm. Commander is not a member of the NC. I've seen many people accusing me. I've never voted for Commander. I've not supported Commander. The alliance in the local authority felt that another political party must lead. And at that time, they say Al Jama. And if Al Jama gave them that candidate, it's Al Jama that must ask, must question, must be questioned. We didn't have those details. What we did, okay. uh, I remember, we we vetted. Um, I think their first mayoral candidate. I can't remember Tapelo, mm. uh, because the ANC's name was going to be affected. We asked. Uh, those that are dealing vetting in the ANC to vet him and uh, we find that there's nothing that's the only person that I know but when he was changed and replaced by Kwamanda I don't think that we went through vetting because our vetting processes would have picked up this particular matter <laughs> so how do we even trust that the same mayor of Al Jamaa Tapelo Ahmad was actually vetted how do we even trust that the same the, the, the very first mayor was vetted? Because if you're gonna say that we vetted the first mayor but we didn't vet the second one, how how can we be sure that the first one was actually vetted? Because even here the ANC says that we vetted the mayor and he met the minimum requirements. The vetting is the basic vetting of whether he has criminal records, if there's any pending investig investigation 
against him or if he's insolvent. So the ANC said they vetted Gwamanda, but the premier of, of Gauteng comes out to say that, no, we didn't vet Gwamanda. So which is which? Which is which? And if the ANC didn't vet Gwamanda, why did the ANC support Gwamanda to be the mayor of Johannesburg if he was not vetted? Why would you actually let this guy to be the mayor of Johannesburg if you didn't vet him? Don't you guys think that there's something wrong there? Law should work. If the allegations against you should be arrested, regardless of which position you occupy in society. Mm. Commander is not a member of the ANC. I've seen many people accusing me. I've never voted for Commander. I've not supported Commander. The alliance in the local authority felt that another political party must lead. And at that time, they say Al Jama. And if Al Jama gave them that candidate, it's Al Jama that must ask, must question, must be questioned. We didn't have those details. What we did. So Al Jama is the one that actually must answer, not the political parties that actually voted for Al Jama to be the one that is in top. So we must ask Kabil Gomanda, but we must not ask the political parties that actually voted for Kabil Gomanda to be the mayor of Johannesburg. Okay. Uh, I remember we, we vetted, um, I think their first mayoral candidate, I can't remember, Tapelo, mm. uh, because the ANC's name was going to be affected. We asked uh, those that are dealing vetting in the ANC to vet him, and uh, we find that there's nothing. That's the only person that I know. But when he was changed and replaced by Kwamanda, I don't think that we went through vetting, because our vetting processes would have picked up this particular matter. So why didn't he go through the vetting process? Like, that is the question. Why didn't he go through the vetting process? Why didn't he go through the vetting process? Because if you say that if we had vetted Kabul Commander, our process would have picked up this matter. So are you telling us that the, the whole ANC didn't know that the FSCA was actually investigating this guy for the financial crimes? <laughs> so on a lighter note <laughs> on a lighter note this is a statement that was released yesterday by the executive mayor of Johannesburg the same guy who said that uh, for us to actually fight crime we must hire the foreigners because the South African police cannot speak their language so instead of just equipping our police to actually know these people's language he said no we must hire the foreigners so that they can actually help us with fighting crime. This is Dada Morero, the executive mayor of Johannesburg. This is the statement that he released yesterday. I found this statement to be quite fun. Dada Morero says that, as the executive mayor of Johannesburg, I am deeply concerned by matter of arrest of MMC Kabil Gomand. The development deserves to be handled with a sense of agency on behalf of the residents of the city in order to ensure that it does not impact of the on the service deliver. So you can see that the first statement is trying to insinuate that we didn't even know that this guy was busy doing these things. And I said it yesterday, that guys, that it's either the ANC knew about these allegations that were leveled against the capital commander, they didn't care, or the ANC didn't know that this person was actually being accused of these kind of crimes and it it actually makes everything much worse because the ANC is in charge they need to know what everybody is involved in i wish to confirm that as i wish to confirm that as a first step i am meeting kabel gomanda tomorrow which is today to receive his counsel and official report consequently as a deployee Consequently, as a deployee of the ANC in political office, we are guided by the ANC's position on similar matters and, and cannot and do not expect any less from our partners in government. We can duly confirm that the situation meets the minimum requirements for the step aside to kick in. <laughs> so now they are subjecting Kabul Gomanda to the rules of the ANC. <laughs> We can duly confirm that the situation meets the minimum requirements for the step aside rule to kick in. As we deal with this matter with agency, it requires 
we shall make use of the authority vested in us in the office, including as provided for the in the code of conduct for councillors, to execute our responsibilities faithfully and without favor. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know why these people are trying to make it look like no, we didn't know anything about this. We didn't know anything about this because quite frankly, it does not it is not a good look for them. It is not a good look for them. So I don't know how long will the ANC pretend like they didn't know that this guy was actually investigated for financial crimes because the same ANC, when they investigate, when, when the allegations were actually brought up, they said, no, this is nothing but gossip and rumor mongering. This is what the ANC said. But today they are saying, no, 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 no. Our vetting process would have actually picked up this issue, meaning that they didn't know that this guy was being investigated by the FSCA. So who actually believes them? When they say that, who believes them? When they say that, guys, this is insane. And this is insane. And again, this is a developing story. I am sure that something is going to come out. But right now, it looks like the ANC lied. Because the ANC first, they said they vetted Kabel Gomanda. But right now, the ANC is coming out to say that, no, we didn't vet Kabel Gomanda. So, which is which? Which is which? Guys, please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabal, so I will see you next time. Bye-bye.